We start with North Korea's latest provocation, firing long-range ballistic missile into the East Sea this morning. This comes as the regime has been sending warnings against the U.S. for a spy plane allegedly intruding the North's exclusive economic zone. We have our Chen Minjong on the line with the latest. Minjong, what can you tell us? Kellen, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff announced that North Korea fired what is presumed to be a long-range ballistic missile toward the East Sea at around 10 a.m. Wednesday. The missile was reportedly launched from the Pyongyang region. This is the North's first ballistic missile launch in 27 days, and the launch comes a day after North Korea threatened to take military action after the regime accused the U.S. of, quote, illegally intruding into the sky above its economic exclusive zone with a spy plane. Kim Yo-jong, the sister of the North Korean leader, had warned the U.S. that it will face a very critical flight if it continues to violate the North's airspace. Both Seoul and Washington, however, have denied the accusation, and they stress that the flights around the Korean peninsula are routine and that they adhere to international law. Following Wednesday's launch, South Korea's military said it is maintaining a full readiness posture in close cooperation with the U.S. while elevating vigilance. This is all I have for now, but I'll be back with more on our next newscast. Back to you, Kellen.